Hi everyone, it's Tiffany here with Bearable Traders here to do my recap. I tried a five minute ABCD on Apple this morning and also a 15 minute orb. Um, it never did break out. I have, um, I've been doing terrible with my five and 15 minute orbs lately and I think I need to take some time off to tighten up my strategy, tighten up my rules and my criteria and really try to refocus uh, because I've been trading it kind of sloppy. Um, this has been my, uh, this is a typical day, uh, trading day for me lately, especially in the past couple of weeks. I, I dig a hole with my orbs and then I climb my way out with um, a reversal or two. So I saw that that Apple opened really strong in the first five minutes, uh, first minute, first five minute, and first 15 minute had decent buying volume. And as it was coming back down to retest the VWAP, I thought that it was going to push up through 155 yesterday's high. However, if I were really paying attention to the daily, this huge long wick to the top side hitting this 155 level, I probably should have been looking for a short rather than a long. Uh, the risk to reward was not there. Um, so it came back down, tested the VWAP, may, started looking like it was going to make a new five minute high and push up. So I went long here and then it came back, made a new low, went, um, fell below the VWAP and stopped me out at break or not break even. I'm sorry at one R. So then I tried it two more times. I should not have. However, I do, I have a rule that I do not attempt, um, a move more than three times. And so my second and third attempt were all break even moves. The reason I should not have been in there is because I was no longer willing to accept the risk. And so on the third time, I decided to give up on that um, particular trade. And I'm glad I did because it sold off quite hard after, after I got out um, my final attempt. So then at, a little bit later, I saw that it looked like it was about to reverse. So as you can see, it made a bit of a, a V reversal here. There was a large um, wick to the bottom side of this hammer of this hammer doji on the five minute. And then, so I, after I saw this, and it started pushing up through the moving averages and it also the nine and the 20 right here on the one minute chart. The nine and the 20 on the one minute started curling up and crossing. You have the 50 coming down to meet it. And here I decided to wait on a new 15 minute high after seeing this hammer doji. I am sorry, my cursor is not working. After seeing this hammer doji on the 15 minute chart and it made a new high, that's where I decided to go long. My stop loss was below these, if it lost these moving averages on the one minute right here. And then I decided I would take a, a 25% partial at the 50 on the one minute chart right here. And then I took um, another 25% partial when it pushed up through the 100 moving average on the one minute chart. I also saw a ton of asks sitting there at 154. So I wanted to make sure I took a, a, a little bit of uh, profit there as well. I took 25%. And then when it pushed up through the VWAP right here, I took another, I took 50% here. I'm sorry about this. I got to get this figured out. 50% um, here. And then when it made a shooting star doji on the 15 minute chart right here. Sorry, this is so aggravating. It made a new low and was falling below the VWAP. I took everything out except for 10% of my position when it made a new low. And then the rest stopped me out at break even. Um, I, I like to leave 10% for the just in case. And if it pushed back up through the VWAP, I was, I would have been able to add to my position. Um, but those were my trades for the day. Like I said, my mornings start out terrible. I think I'm going to take a break from the five and 15 minute opening range breakups until I 
feel like um, my criteria is back on point. Um, so I hope you all had a great day. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.